King, have you, have you ever woke up with a roach on your face? Here. No, that's not the goal. All right, oh, then. Go. Or in your ear. I don't know what you're talking about. I got some in the neighborhood with me that broke up with roach in your ear. Y'all want to go to the bando and met my neighborhood? Do y'all want to go to the bando? Do y'all want to go to the bando? To make him look better, he said he know not true. Silver Spoon, I ain't never ate with that day a day in my life. Hey, you did I have to have to come to my grandma's house because I'm getting in the you fight. You act like a baby to go to your grandma's house. Every day. You, you to hold your Every breath. Every day. Every day. Every day. I don't want to be in these gates. I want to be outside in the neighborhood. That's why I want to be over there. But they don't understand that. I'm going to tell you the reason why you want to be over there. Y'all ready? Because... He be sucking pacify over there. He yeah. was 12 years old. He was sucking pacify since he was 12 years old. He didn't do that in the house. He cried like a baby. Hold his breath. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They try to say I was over there trying to suck a pasty, but they ain't gonna tell you everything like that. They trying to hide it. Ain't nobody hiding it. He capping. He capping. Hey. He know I stand on business. He know that. Hey, nobody ever pulled my car ever in life. I stand on business. You, you drop me business. somewhere, I stand on business. You, you drop me in your hood, man. I stand on business. I don't feel like you stand on business. Yeah. Said, I've st been, been stood on business. I've been stood on business. You want to hide it for the world, I'm going to put it out there for them to see. Amen. I, I want to put up nowhere. You ain't had me put up nowhere. Like, I ain't. You ain't had me behind the mansion. I was outside doing what I wanted to do. Like, what? You were behind the mansion. You cried. No. I got too much to drink. I got drunk too much. Drunk too much. Let's go. I'm getting mad because we stay the south in the suburbs. Then he want to talk about some other Like, just be a sick. Just be a sick. No, I'm being real. You lying. You lying. You over here flagging. You're capping. You 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 why you even letting somebody play with me like that? Why you letting somebody play with me like that? Why you letting him play with me like that? Why you letting him play with me like that? No, ain't no joking. Ain't no joking. What do you mean? You are embarrassing yourself. You are embarrassing yourself. You are embarrassing yourself. You are embarrassing yourself. Man, what is you talking about? Man, get off me, nigga. Man, get off me, nigga. Well, you can't do nothing with me. Ain't shit you can do with me. This little boy's feeling was hurt. I mean, he, he was embarrassed. He was embarrassed. He's He's got every right to be. But you know what, though? I don't blame him. I blame the parents. Simply because of the fact that parents allow their children to be in grown folk business. I'm an old school father, okay? With me, it doesn't matter how old you are. There's a certain amount of respect that you always have for your parents. This is something I would never tolerate. That would have been nipped in the bud a long time ago. Now, this boy was born with a silver spoon in his mouth. And I understand that he's probably got pressure from the outside, from young people, and he feel he need to he needs to um, prove that he's of the street because of the fact that he's privileged. And no doubt that he will be teased because of the fact that he's privileged. But at that point, when he started rising up and being disrespectful, that's a time when the father said, you know what? Since you never grew up with a silver spoon in your mouth because a lot of kids forget, especially when, when they're used to having, they tend to forget, okay? And they become extremely disrespectful. Now, I have two sons, one that's almost 40 and one that's almost 30. 
To this day, I would never put up with that type of disrespect. Yes, they are grown men, but you will respect me, okay? So at that point, when that boy rose up like that and was talking about nigga this and nigga that, okay, I tell you what, I'm going to take away every privilege that you got as a result of me, and I want to see how long you last out in the street. See, this little fella to me looked like a little... He looked like a female. He looks like a female iguana or some type of reptile. He's got a reptile face. I'm going to play that video back again, but look at this kid, man. He looked like a reptile and he act like a little female. But I'm not going to fault him. I'm going to fault his parents because his parents should have nipped this in the bud a long time ago. That's one thing you don't do is get in grown folk business. Now, he's probably about 18, 19 years old. You're still a child. Stay in a child's place. The mother should have never tried to hold him back. And you could tell T.I. did not want to hurt that boy. He could have hurt him if he wanted to. He just wanted to restrain him and let him know, look, you're still young, man. And he's talking about like, oh, I'm out in the street. I'm doing this. I'm doing this. Put me anywhere in the street. Not. They need to let him go and need to experience life for himself, okay? Because as long as you continue feeding him with a silver spoon or a platinum spoon, he's going to never learn to appreciate you. He's never going to expect you. Now, I've seen this happen with quite a few celebrities' children, okay? Look at Kirk Franklin. You got these young kids that's growing up, man, privileged. And then they got the audacity to get in the parent's face. But again, like I said, I don't fault him. I fault his parents because his parents allow it to get as far as it did. So take a listen to that again. I'm going to show you this kid, man. And, and he, again, like I said, he's privileged. Check it out. King, have you, have you ever woke up with a roach on your face? Here. No, that's not the goal. All right, then. Or in your ear. I don't know what you're talking about. I got some in the neighborhood with me that roach on my face. Have you ever woke up with a roach in your ear? Y'all want to go to the y'all want to go to the bando in my neighborhood? Do y'all want to go to the bando? Do y'all want to go to the bando? To make him look better, he said he know not true. Silver spoon. I ain't never ate with that day a day in my life. Hey, you did I'm have silver spoon. Look, we you used to have to come to my grandma's house because I'm getting in the you fight. You like a baby to go to your grandma's house. Every day. You, you to hold your ground. Every day. Every day. I don't want to be in these gates. I want to be outside in the neighborhood. That's At that point, when he said that he didn't want to be inside those gates, he wanted to be out in the neighborhood, that's when I would have packed his little things and I would have put him out. I would have said, okay, now you go out and you survive on your own. I want to see how long you're going to survive out there in the street alone, beyond these gates. Whatever little money that you gave him and he got in his, his account, that's all he would have had to live on. Now, let me see you survive without dad's help. A lot of these kids need, need to learn, man. That's why I want to be over there. But they don't understand that. I'm going to tell you the reason why he want to be over there. Y'all ready? Because he can suck and pacify over there. He yeah. was 12 years old. He was suck and pacify. He was 12 years old. He can do that in the house. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 They trying to say I was over there trying to suck and pass it, but they ain't going to tell you everything. That's one ugly kid right there. That is one ugly kid. Everything like that, they, they, they're yeah, trying to hide it. Ain't nobody hiding it. He capping. He capping. He know I stand on business. He know that. Can't no nigga ever pull my car ever in life. I stand on business. You drop me somewhere, I stand on business. And I would have dropped him anywhere he wanted to be. And that's where I would have left him to survive on his own. Let me see you stand on your own without my help. You drop me in your hood, man. I stand on you business. Said, I don't feel like you stand on business. He yeah. Said, he said, I I, I've been stood on business. One I've been stood on business. You want to hide it for the world, I'm going to put it out there for them to see. Amen. I ain't.
I want to put up nowhere. You ain't had me put up nowhere. Like, I ain't, you ain't had me behind the mansion. I was outside doing what I wanted to do. You was, you was behind the mansion. No, no, I ain't got too much to drink. I done drunk too much. Drunk too much. Let's go. I'm getting mad because we stay the south in the suburbs. Then he want to talk about some other Like, just be a sick. Just be a sick. No, I'm being real. You lying. You lying. You over here flagging. You're capping. 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 You're you I know you. I know you. Shut up. Shut up. I know you. Ain't no mystery about here. I know you though. I know you though. I know you though. I know you. What's wrong with y'all? Why y'all doing that to me? Y'all know me. You know I stand on business. You know I stand on business. Why you even letting somebody play with me like that? Why you let somebody play with me like that? Why you let him play with me like that? Why you let him play with me like that? No, I ain't no joking. You are embarrassing yourself. You are embarrassing yourself. You are embarrassing yourself. You are embarrassing yourself. What is she talking about? Man, get off me, nigga. But you can't do nothing with me. Ain't shit you can do with me. Right. Yeah, have, I, I, have you I, ever? I, I, I would have put that. I would put that little monkey out. That little iguana. That little reptile. I would have put him out. I would have put him out. Let him see if he can stand on his own without my money. Okay. I don't know what it is about young people nowadays, man, where they are ashamed of coming from a good home. Now, I'm not going to say T.I.'s house is a good home because he's only following the footsteps of his dad. Remember T.I. got caught with those firearms and he called himself being a drug dealer? Now that young boy feels that he has to prove himself, that he wants to be like his dad, that he want to show that he come from the street, he come from the hood. What's wrong with these young boys wanting to come from the hood? If your parents made it out, man, and made it possible so that you don't have to follow those footsteps, that you don't have to wake up with, with roaches on your face, man, you better learn to appreciate that. Count your blessings. But I'm an old school dad. That's something I would have never put up with. That would have been out and out. That would have been nipped in the bud. So feedback and tell me what you think about that until next time. I'm fearless.